The Ngongwane family in Ratanda in Gauteng are still reeling following the death of three siblings. They were allegedly poisoned by their father yesterday. One boy is fighting for his life in hospital. The Gauteng Education MEC Banyaza Lesufi visited the family and the boys' school today. ENCA's Ngobile Majala has been following that story and joins us now for an update. It's even a difficult question to ask Ngobile. How is the family doing? Devastated. That's what they are. You can just see the mother. She's just she's breaking. Um, I had a chance to speak to her, and I said to her, I mean, it's, it's very obvious how she feels, but was there any signs that she saw? And she's saying there were no signs. She and, and, and the people that were around her, they were talking about the fact that he was such a good father that um, he cared for the young ones, that he was always there. So they never thought this was something that could happen. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't strange for him to prepare something for the kids before they go to school. And so this for them came as a surprise. They're devastated. Mm -hmm. They want answers. But there's nobody to give them those answers. In fact, the family spokesperson was telling us that they have now gone to the hospital and they've heard that the father that's currently also in hospital who also tried to take his life afterwards, um, that he, all he's saying right now is that he's sorry, mm -hmm. he's apologizing. That's all he's saying, but they don't know why he did what he did. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's all allegedly because the police are still investiga investigating, but then they, they, they're saying they just want answers. They want to know why he did it, how it was done. And, why? Why in the morning when the children were supposed to be in school? Because apparently there was no conflicts whatsoever. Mm. But let's listen in um, as, as they explain further. Haritibi diabolo si ofomaya uditi la ola kena mo oriki wa mfuta ofi ofi. Ntatuwa baana abanke kwa duari akoni leta sisi sisi. Unkile ki energy drink. For regular energy drink, a mix of the regular more karaoke hall show and the premium whatever. So a mix of more for saying, "Okay, karo na kati de ma bona ba at." For when two years after my ma bona at I am seventeen. So after my bona kita uswa kihanga and energy drink yena na atel na bana abanisa by four. Boy, I want arena or right to have a show or right to have a little But I have a little bit of 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 a little Kanyal Sedi, bara bana kwa baka kile skolo. Plene tere kile tata zela kiti kwa tola tui ya bana skolo ni sera palet. Bumati shere kwa ufela bana skolo bali kile huzama huo huo tusa bana. Amlenze tui kile liona rizamo tusa bana mara tusa idwese unasosi na tusa kaitu. Haritua morita mo primary. Askeram tola kam tola ngana sali mo tlingi yemo ratanda ifitali na ngana sara pelit baza meni tu mtu sa azama kuna hawa ai wana ngana la kuna punyo ba misa spetlene wa wa bu wa bu ne aya spetlene afita spetlene ba mtransfer na ba misite kwa muko na tar sprite so yenai karubi trinya na uya luka luka. Sure, you can hear the sense of helplessness there uh, as he's relating the events that unfolded in the hours, um, you know, following this event, uh, this incident yesterday. And I only imagine how difficult the job of Banyaza Lesufi is to try and come through and offer some word of comfort. What do you even say under these circumstances? Well, at this point, to us, he just said we are here that we need your, we, we are going to assist you as the Department of Education. We will help where we can. 
he was just offering condolences. He himself was devastated. He said he's seen too many of these incidents. Mm -hmm. And this incident is something that he doesn't pride himself of. That the fact that he has to come to the family instead of talking about a career, instead of talking about a child that has made it, they're now talking about death. He was talking about how difficult it is now to tell the, the, the learners that they have lost a friend, that they have lost um, a classmate, that they have lost these children, you know, in their lives. He says, how do you explain this to young people? And that is what he was caught up in. It's mm -hmm. conundrum, really, if you think about it. He went to, um, to a school assembly in, in Khanya Lisedi, and now this is where the two of the boys passed away in the premises. When you listen to the teachers, you can tell they traumatized in both schools. When you listen to, to also the learners that were in class, you can hear the trauma. So he's listening to the teachers as they relay the message. And he later on had to speak to the school to explain to them that this is something that they're on top of. But what do you say? in this incident. So I also had a chance to speak to one of the learners that were in class. He describes um, Newa, which is the one that has um, survived um, and is currently in a critical condition. He says he started holding his tummy and that he said there was something wrong with his tummy. And he spoke about um, tummy cramps. I mean, the child couldn't even look at me mm -hmm. at that point. He was just explaining how difficult it is. And there were a couple of them that were sitting on the side, and they were asking, when will the funeral be? So even the children in the area are mm -hmm. also just as traumatized because sure. of what is happening. And this is what Banyaza was saying, that they are going to provide um, some counseling for the family and for all these families that are sure. now affected by this incident. But more than anything, he just said he's going to be there for the family that he's going to assist them the best way that he can and according to Steve there's already some people that are saying that they would like to assist the family yeah I believe we can hear from the MSC Panyazale Sufina it was more difficult to address those learners to try to persuade them to accept what has happened and what they need to do as learners to comfort and support each other it was more painful and difficult to enter this family, to listen to the family representative narrating the last moment of what happened in the house until our beloved children left this family. We also picked up that this was indeed an intention, the way it happened. But even a family pet could not escape this act. <coughs> we are just here to provide comfort and support. Sure, a truly tragic story there, and I can tell it is difficult even for you to tell. And um, Nobile, it's weighing really heavily, and I can tell even on you as well. Thank you for that reporting. ENCA's Nobile Mazala tracking that story.